I have a new hobby. I am collecting stories that I can actually prove are told among the Russian people. They make them up themselves, they tell them between themselves, reveals they've got a great sense of humor, and they've also got a little cynical attitude about things in their country. The story was an American and a Russian arguing about their two countries, and the American said, look, in my country, I can walk into the Oval Office, I can pound the president's desk and say, Mr. President, I don't like the way you're running our country. And the Russian said, I can do that. The American said, you can? He says, yes. I can go into the Kremlin, to the general secretary's office, pound his desk and say, Mr. General Secretary, I don't like the way President Reagan's running his country. <laughs> I didn't tell this one to Gorbachev. You know, there's a 10-year delay, delay in the Soviet Union of delivery of an automobile. And you go through a, quite a process when you're ready to buy, and then you put up the money in advance. This man, he laid down his money, and then the fellow he was in, that was in charge said to him, Okay, come back in 10 years and get your car. And he said, Morning or afternoon? <laughs> and... <clears throat> And the fellow behind the counter said, well, 10 years from now, what difference does it make? And he said, well, the plumber's coming in the morning. <laughs> Less than one family out of seven in the Soviet Union owns an automobile. Most of the automobiles are driven by the bureaucrats. So an order went out one day to the police that anyone caught speeding, anyone, no matter who, gets a ticket. Well. Gorbachev came out of his country home, his dacha. He was late getting to the Kremlin. There was his limousine and driver waiting. He told the driver to get in the back seat he'd drive, and down the road he went. They passed two motorcycle cops. One took out after him. And pretty soon he's back with his buddy, and his buddy says, Well, did you give him a ticket? And he said, No. Well, he said, Why not? Oh, he said, Too important. Well, he said, we're told to give anybody a ticket, no matter who it is. Oh, he said, no, no, this one was, too, I could. Well, he said, who was it? He said, I couldn't recognize him. But his driver was Gorbachev. <laughs> one of the heads of state that I met with on this visit told me the story about the two fellows in the Soviet Union that were walking down the street, and the one of them says, have we really achieved full communism? Is this it? Is this now full communism? And the other one said, oh, hell no, things are going to get a lot worse. <laughs>